I'm Amy Zaley with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for Wednesday, July 17. Jews on the move. France has a problem. Documentary journalist Katie Hopkins, a conservative British journalist who has been explaining the dangers of political correctness and its effects on free speech and journalism within the UK, and noted many times publicly then that she warns the US that what happens in the UK follows in the US. I reported on that concept just recently. And of course she noted the issue with the Labour Party in the UK and the parallel to the Democrats in the U.S. with its uptick in anti-Semitism. Again, topics I've discussed in this forum. But recently, Ms. Hopkins has focused on anti-Semitism in Europe as a whole and unfolds and unpacks the conditions for Jews in France in one of her episodes of her documentary series called Homeland. You can watch her documentaries on a variety of issues and her interviews on a variety of programs by searching her name, Katie Hopkins, on YouTube. She noted that 8,000 families have left the Paris area in recent year or two due to hostilities they have felt. That is 8,000 Jewish families. You know, we often laud the French as an open-minded society, a society often associated with ideas of liberalism, acceptance, and tolerance. A society who is eager to embrace sexual diversity, gender diversity, and for centuries, ethnic diversity. But lo, if you are a Jew, even a Jew whose family has been France for many generations, a French Jew is somehow outside this fold. Recent interviews and exposés that Ms. Hopkins has engaged in has noted the increasing anti-Semitism, which of course always existed in Europe, but it is on the uptick. And according to her new documentary on Homeland, French Jews are fleeing Israel to other places, fleeing France to Israel and other places such as America in order to feel safer. Currently, many Jews are opting not to wear their head covering in public for fear of a physical attack. And it seems, she noted, that the origin of this uptick in anti-Semitism is not the presumed far-right or fascist movement, but rather the Islamic left. Her interviews include uh, meetings with Jewish activists who lament the exodus of Jews from France. One of these experts noted that if, uh, for Israel as a nation to survive, Jews must live all over the world and they must live safely and participate in their own nation's democracy and be ambassadors in order to speak truth and to encourage alliances with this tiny nation in the Middle East. Europe is de increasingly unsafe despite the efforts of many local governments and organizations that have made some progress and have recognized the problem. Anti-Semitic activities, however, in Europe have increased over 73% in the last year. Anti-Semitism in the, on the internet within the Czech Republic, for example, is up 200% since 2015. Though many watchdog groups continue to note that the Czech Republic is one of the safest and most hospitable places for Jews in Europe to live. However, on July 3rd, Adidas UK had to take down an ad campaign they did on Twitter um, and an entire promotion because the sportswear company uploaded a tool that allowed fans to put their Twitter handles on the back of a virtual jersey and then tweet that jersey on their own feed. Some of those participants used handle names such as at Gas All Jews or uh, hashtag Innocent Hitler. The uh, Adidas UK initially took down some of the posts and then took down the entire promotion uh, because of the anti-Semitism that um, occurred. In other places around the world, in Australia, for example, a Jewish cafe owner the week of July 4th woke up to see sprawled across her cafe um, the graffiti, the Holocaust is alive. Owner Eliza Shivali was shocked at the vandalism since both she and her husband are the descendants of Holocaust survivors. Therefore, she not only felt it personally, um, but twice over as directly um, as a direct descendant of the Holocaust. She did state in a statement, I won't let them have the satisfaction of having it on my wall. Despite the shock, she noted, I couldn't close my cafe. I am not going to break as a Jew. I'm not sure if I'm the target or it's just because we're Jewish, meaning she personally or because of her identity. 
Um, Devere Abramovich, the chairman for the Anti-Defamation Commission, which fights anti-Semitism in Australia, commented in response, quote, we need to make sure that we do not reach a point where Jews in, Victoria's will not, in Victoria will not feel safe walking the streets or at their businesses. Yet the recent surge of hate and white supremacist activity in our state, which is hitting an all-time high, is causing many to feel this way. These bigoted thugs and their cowardly attempts at intimidation must not go unchallenged. And I hope those responsible for this crime will be dealt with with the full extent of the law. However, after these statements were made, a second graffiti was put on later in the week, was found um, on the cafe, and that is still under investigation. Later um, in July, July 8th, Twitter had to pull a tweet that actually was from earlier this summer, uh, from an Egyptian actor, an Egyptian actor, Hashim Mansour, who has over 800,000 followers, um, is a television actor, and he tweeted, all negativity in the world caused by Jews, all ter terrorism in the world caused by Jews, all depression, darkness, also Jews. These hateful and hostile, depressing expressions are often accepted or even quietly overlooked when social media sites do deem and recognize the evil and remove the post. Let us be sure that we will not sweep these things under the rug. When we find them, we must identify them for what they are. Anti-Semitism is not acceptable and it is not truthful and it cannot be excused. Be vigilant, please. Shavua Tov and have a great week.